Hi, I wanted to give you an overview of this ePortfolio template. This is a template I will be giving access to you um, for this template in just um, a couple of days, if not today. And um, I want you to be able to um, see how, how it works. And I don't think you'll have a problem with it. It's based on a Google site. It is called the Instructional Design Portfolio. Um, ePortfolio, and then you'll notice that it has several tabs across the top. Um, these tabs will uh, give you further information on what I've asked you to do. It should also correspond with the cal calendar that I gave you, and you already have access to that from the Google Plus community. So if you click on any of these or if you highlight them, um, you'll notice that you have several things to do in here. Here is um, the tutorial, and so I want you to, um, that's, that's what this is right now. Um, here is the is A link, but this was for the um, MIT ePortfolio. Um, I am going to change this video to the one that I'm creating right now. Um, and then we'll have an introduction to the Instructional Design um, Professional ePortfolio, and this is a doc. And so you'll see it right here. You can go through that and take a look at that. Go back up here, you've got the ISTE standards for coaches and the PSEL standards. And I know that there are no real industry standards for instructional design, and so um, because our department uses the ISTE standards, um, and you've used those in a lot of the courses, and I think they fit um, in quite a few areas, we're going to just use the standards for coaches as much as possible. And then the PSEL standards are the professional um, standards for educational leaders, and of course, that applies to educational leaders. So those of you who are in industry, it's going to be um, a little bit of a stretch, but not much, um, because you'll see um, different areas for that as well. And so you'll be able to get that information from this tab. Here's a rationale um, for what we're doing. And this, again, is a, um, a doc, and it gives you some, some ideas on um, the practicum and why we do the ePortfolio. Um, Here's candidate information. So um, remember I talked about the instructional design philosophy here. Here is where you will insert that. And so what you will have is you'll have access to the site. And what you do is you click the pencil to edit the page. And it tells you right here how to do it, how to insert it. So you'll go find your page and you'll insert that right here. So it, it has to be in a Google Doc format to make it work this way. Here's where your resume will go. Same, same process. Um, these are just different pages on the Google site. Course materials request process. This is um, what I've asked you to create. It can be as um, simple as, you know, if you want to do a, a Google form, you could use a Google form as well and then just would put a link here um, for that. Or you can embed the form on the page as well. Um, and you'll see how to do that when you do, um, when you follow these pro this process. Um, course training description. This would be um, what I've asked you to do for, I think it's um, part two, maybe part three. Um, and, uh, and and so as you go through these parts, it should correspond with the pages on here. I need to make sure that that's, that's true. <laughs> I think it is. Um, and then activity evidence. This is going to be evidence of what you've done. And so just different, um, if you've done a storyboard in a course, that's fine. Um, you can do your professional development plan, which is, um, this will give you the, the, um, the outline for that. Um, and I think I've already given you that, that outline off of the course um, calendar, or off the course, yeah, the course calendar. Um, You'll do, you'll share presentations, and this is all on the page. It tells you what, what we're looking for. There's three of them here, a Google presentation, a Prezi, and your choice. Um, but to do just um, to show uh, three presentations that you have done um, and then, um, or that you propose to do. You don't have to have done them already. Um, article summaries, these would be um, just articles that you found that you want to post, and these would be in Google Doc format. Videos of you providing training as much as possible. I'd really like to see you in actual training. If you can do something like that this semester, that would be good. So this isn't just a screencast, but this is actually a video of you training someone to do something, um, whether it's the faculty you work with, the um, other people that you work with, or students. 
Um, and sometimes that's a stretch to get what you need here. So just talk to me about it if you have a question. Storyboards, um, this would be uh, just creating a storyboard and then um, linking to it. Um, oh dear. Let me see what my draft is. <laughs> I need to I need to check that out, so I'll, I'll get that later. Uh, a syllabus. So if you're doing training or if you're doing a course, I'd like you to, to um, have your syllabus here. And then training materials and resources. So anything else that you have, maybe YouTube videos, online articles, and just one for each of these areas would be great. Um, this is the faculty evaluation tool that I will use to look through your portfolio and so you know um, what I'm looking for 75 points. This is what I will use when we talk through the um, uh, the comp comprehensive exam at the end, and then a reflection. And this reflection is is pretty much in um, a format. And so again, this is something that you'll find the pencil and you will um, up here and you will edit this page. Um, to do that, I'm going to go back and, you know, any of those that, that you have to click the pencil and take a look at. If it's a, a doc, um, basically you just want to cancel out this information or you could keep it at the bottom if you wanted to. But what you want to do is go to insert and then you're going to find a um, drive. You're going to find a document and you click that and it will bring up your my documents. And so you just find that. You can do a search or you can find it in your list. Um, and just select it and then say select and it will show up in this area. Um, again, it tells you even um, the height and width alone, remove the directions above, align your dot to the top of the space. So just all of that um, and it will show up in, in here. If you have trouble with any of this, just please contact me and let me know. Um, so I hope that this answers your questions um, about the ePortfolio. Again, a lot of these things take time to create, um, and a lot of these things are going to be asked of you um, to post in the um, in the community um, throughout the, um, the semester, and that's based on your weekly course calendar. Um, if you have questions, let me know. I may have left something out. I may have left a lot of things out. I hope not, but um, I've enjoyed seeing what you've posted so far, and I look forward to um, seeing your finished work. So thank you.